Good evening, everybody. I'm Mary Love, and welcome to Country Living. I'm so glad you dropped in today. I would like to welcome all my new subscribers. Thank you so much for joining my channel. I'm going to hit 600 before you know it. I just know it in my... I just know it. Somewhere I know it. <laughs> that word escaped me. I was trying to get out of my mouth. My tongue got wrapped around my eye teeth and I couldn't see what I was trying to say. <laughs> How's everybody doing? If I was any better, I'd be twins. Whoo! <laughs> Shudder the thought. So, Easter time. I love Easter. I, I love what it stands for. But I also love the candy that comes out at Easter time. Now, I don't eat a bunch of candy. I am diabetic, so I don't eat a bunch of candy. The My favorite candy that I eat, which is two different things, but they are sugar-free. I love, love, love the sugar-free Jolly Ranchers and the sugar-free Lifesavers, which the Lifesavers... I haven't had those in forever because can't find them anymore. But my favorite candy of all times, and I do splurge on one bag during Easter because they only come out at Easter time. And that is Jolly Rancher Jelly Beans. I hate jelly beans. I do. But these are absolutely delicious. If you've never tried Jolly Rancher Jelly Beans, and you're like me, you don't like jelly beans, give these babies a try. You're going to love them. Like I said, one time. And they only come out at Easter. That's the only time you can buy them. So every Easter, I buy me one bag, and that's I, I'll make it last me for a very long time because they ain't nothing but sugar. And two or three of them at a time is all I can eat because, yeah, it wreaks havoc on the diabetes. But, like I said, my favorite candy is sugar-free Jolly Ranchers and sugar-free Lifesavers. Those, <laughs> I can tear them up. But, my little video tonight is going to be very simple. I am going to play a game. I am going to play Shut the Box by Renee over at Reinventing Renee. And if you're asking yourself, what is Shut the Box? Well, allow me to explain. It's a very addictive game. That's what it is. It's, it's evil. Let me tell you. Not really. It is a lot of fun to play. Uh, Renee, thank you so much for coming up with this. Um, I don't know where you got the idea for it, but I don't care where you got the idea for it. I absolutely love this. And she's been wanting people to tag her in their videos when they play it so she can watch them play. So, let's get to this and see how much money I'm going. I ain't got a whole lot. I got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26 dollars to play for this. I got to get some more money after a while. But for the time being, we're going to go with what I got. So let's get down here. Let me see about turning this light on and see how it's going to be. So let me get y'all down here and we're going to play this. Well, it kind of got dark, didn't it? Yeah, it still got a little dark. I got to work on my lighting, y'all. All right. The object of this game is each one of these rows, each row is a game. Got numbers from one to nine. You're going to have two dice. You're going to roll these two dice. I rolled a seven. I'm not sure what my husband's doing, but it don't sound real healthy outside. Um, I got a seven. So, you have options. You can mark out the seven. 
I gotta find my black one. There's my black one. You can mark out the seven. You can mark out a six and a one, which adds up to seven. You can mark out a five and a two, which adds up to seven, or a three and a four, which adds up to seven. Me, I'm gonna mark out the seven. My husband sounds like he's tearing the world down outside. Not sure what he's doing out there. Hey, Renee, look, I had a perfect game last night on here. I should have been recording that one. All right, let's roll again, see what we get. Oh, we got another seven. So we're going to take out. What do I want to do? The six and the one. Probably shouldn't have did that, but oh well. Six and the one. Come on, we gotta have something besides the seven. There's an eight. I can live with that. And you roll the dice until you no longer have any combinations you can make, and whatever numbers are left that haven't been colored out. That's what you owe. Shut the box. Woohoo! There's a seven. We're going to do five and two. That nine is scaring me, y'all. I ain't got very much money. Five and two. Woo! Nose is itching. Come on, give me a nine. Oh, four. We mark out the four. <laughs> nine, ten. I need a, a twelve, a three, or a nine. Oh, I got a six. That is not good. So I owe twelve dollars to shut the box. Let me find a, a pretty color pencil. Here, we'll use this one. So we got nine. And three, which makes twelve. I got some change in here. Let's see. Yeehaw! Alrighty. Twelve going, or fifteen going in, three coming out, so that makes twelve. Let's write twelve on this little piece of paper so I don't forget what I put in there. Because I'm just as apt to. I'm about scatterbrained most days. So that gives $55. Ain't sure what today is. Eh, we'll figure that out later. So there's 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, $55. I think I only got, I got two more rounds to go and I'll have this one finished. You know what? We're going to play one more time. I told y'all, once you get started, you can't stop. All right, come on, give me some big numbers. Six. If y'all haven't played this yet, Y'all really need to get this game. Eight. I don't think I'd make it very good in Vegas. What do they call it? One of them craps tables or something? I don't think I'd do very good. Oh, come here. Eight. Oh. We're going to go five and three. I probably should have went seven and one.
Come on. Four. Woo. This ain't looking good, y'all. I'm starting to get nervous. Come on, give me a nine. Three. Oh, two and one. All right. Seven or a nine. Eight. Oh, I was $16. Oh, my God. They took all my money. Oh, I'm going to. Oh, well. All I got is 14, so that's all it's getting. That sucks. <sighs> I'll have to put um, the rest of it in there after a while. So that's all I can do right now till I get me some more money. But I wanted to show y'all how you do this. I really like this game. So, I owe 16. I got 14. There's 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So, that's, that's what we got. So, I still owe $2. And I will pay that. I know Renee's probably sitting there screaming at that TV or that computer monitor. Just give what you got. Just give what you got. Well, I'm funny that way, I reckon. But anyway, there we go. So by I'll put the 16. I'm going to go ahead and write it down on here. 16, which will make that... 11, 6, 71 dollars that will be in here. Well, I know that thing opens up somewhere. Alrighty. Alright, there's mine. I got one more to go on that row. Like I said, if you haven't tried Shut the Box, go over to Renee's Etsy shop, Reinventing Renee, and purchase the game. It is not expensive at all, and it is a lot of fun. I have a bad habit <laughs> of been sitting around here at night and get bored. I'll come in here and play it. No, and I ain't got no cash to put in there, but I'll play it anyways. And then I'll put me a little IOU on there. And I'll put the money in there later. Friday, when I get paid. But anyways, that's my video for right now. I may do something again after a while when I get some more money. But y'all have a blessed evening. Show Renee some love. And go over to Reinventing Renee. That is her YouTube channel. And check out her Etsy shop. Get the game and join us this I'll week and play back. it. I'm going to go to the store. Okay. That was my husband. But y'all have a wonderful evening, and I will talk to y'all later. My doggy come in. Y'all want to see my doggy buster. This is my doggy buster. Say hey, buster. Look. Look. Look up at the camera. Say hey, everybody. Ain't he pretty? He just rotten to the core. But this is my fur, baby. He's a good baby. Yes, you are, buster. Oh, he heard my my husband's truck start up, so he'll headed for the door. Won't nap. But anyway, y'all have a great evening, and I'll talk to y'all later. God bless.